back to another episode of Morocco. Ooh, so guys, I was deciding last time if I wanted to do what I wanted to do, and I decided I don't want to do what I want to do. And I wanted to decide that I wanted to do all this cool ship protection stuff, because like, I keep forgetting that I do have to protect my seas, so I'm going to send one to, to Alexandria. I'm going to send another one to, not Silveva, Crimea, Sulfi. Uh, let's let's put the map the trade map in because I want to make sure I'm doing this the right thing We could probably do one to Alexandria just to make sure that we have that under our control fully Because that kind of everything kind of funnels into Constantinople, so that's fine. But yeah, I really should I'm gonna start like getting my uh, My uh, fleets up and running So this one's going to patrol my uh, home node of Safai this one with the 66 is gonna is gonna protect protect trade in Saval. Cause I feel like I could easily. Oh man, it's so hard to win that area. Like there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Took just a couple powerful trade ships and I finally overturned that area into my. So yeah, we're just casually trying to look for areas that don't quite are not quite underneath our control. Like some of these I don't understand why they're not under con control. The Manchurian coast should be underneath our control so I'm gonna go send some traders over there but for the rest of them I don't think it's really needed that we need to and yeah I I'm still I don't think I'm quite as advanced anymore in terms of military tech I'm probably fall, falling a little bit behind yeah I knew it um yeah actually I'm about two techs behind of cons of uh Castile which is not exactly great especially since they're embargoing us still they really don't give up on embargoes, by the way. They're like the longest people I have seen embargo me. Literally, years have passed, and I've been embargoed by them. But yeah, it seems like the entire uh, Mamalukian coast is being taken over by our good friends, the... Well, not our good friends. The mighty, the mighty Melwawian Empire, or Nepalian Empire, to basically India is taking back its land. Castile already hates me. I don't really care. Like, if I if Castile didn't hate me, maybe I would care about that. But Castile already hates me, so it's like I don't really care. And at this point in the game, we basically have a lot of places that we need to start converting to our religion. So what I might start doing is I actually might stop. Let's get that. And let's boost up one. Uh, I might actually stop. Oh, it seems like I have so much money. Let's get one more three advisor. Better relationship over time. Yeah, let's get him. Still got more money. Wow. Okay, let's get another one for defense. Okay, there we go. Now we have less money, but still I have so much more money. But yeah, we, we're just going to keep a constant, you know, supervising role onto the world. And I'm going to go attack Fuji. <laughs> Oh uh, man, this is this is gonna be fun. Cause literally, I just fought them like literally a second ago, so it's really not gonna be that bad. And this time, I actually have some more allies. And then you guys go over here. You guys combine into all a big gigantic unit. And let's see, you guys from the previous war. I already have people from down here, so we can go start taking on these guys. You guys get to be the army that attacks Ethiopia. And there we go. And in this war, I can't exactly take multiple provinces, so whatever I do take, I better... Let's let's lose some administration power, because I'm about to go into a war with a lot of people. I want to make sure that I gain as much as I can from this. Go crush this army. It's not going to be very hard, because they're not even... They're African tanks, so they're not even... Yeah. Didn't want to say it, but I just let my men speak for me. Yeah, but yeah, I think what we should do though, seriously though, on, on a serious note, we should probably start moving towards a more not more pious nation. That way we can start converting all this land, because we have so much land to convert. Like, I basically built it up to now to the point where we have a lot of land to try to convert to us. Um, and I'm going to try to make sure I keep these lands pretty divided, because I want to make sure the armies all look fine. Hey, 42 stack, could you go kill that 13 stack? I know it's a little bit below you, but yeah, still, please go kill them. 
So, yeah, we're also going to be exploring the last little bits of fun of Fuji, which is so awesome. I mean, we've literally discovered literally nothing about this nation. I mean, literally nothing. We don't know much, and we're actually going to discover the rest of it. It's so cool. Okay, we also have... Kiwa is probably going to be our biggest threat in this entire war. And the only reason why is because they literally have the, an actual semi-good army. And that's basically it. But really this war is just for us to kind of destroy the rest of these guys. You guys go right here, go, just go conquer that. And let's see. You guys are going to go right there and go conquer that. So, yeah, we basically have this war all underneath our control. Not much, not much any of these guys can really do, because I basically am the bigger brother here, and I will destroy them all, or spare them all, depending on how I feel about them, and how well they fought during this war. Because if you guys fought a good war, and the code of chivalry says, I, you deserve to live. But if you did not fight a good war, you deserve to die. So, hopefully they fought a good war with me, but right now I'm not too impressed. So, maybe I might take a little bit more than needed. But we'll see. So I got most of that siege down pretty effectively. Let's go get down Kilwa. I don't think I can actually take anything from Kilwa this time. So I'm just going to leave it at like. Uh, to see what we can take. Let's see. Because if I can. I want to take this. And I definitely. I think what I really want from this war. Is I really just want to take a lot of this land. Because I've already linked up all my land down here, and I'm already starting to do a lot of stuff like that. But, let me see, by the way. Oh, only Moroccoian protection, dang it. Okay, but... I definitely just want to conquer more land of the Akilwaians. Because I believe that they're more... Because their land is kind of preventing me from actually, like, doing stuff. If I must be honest with you, like, their land's literally, like, preventing me from doing stuff. So, I believe their land will probably be the most beneficial to me in this war. Especially in the long term of conquering lots of Africa. So, yeah, we're gonna need to conquer more of these guys' land. Let me just, like, block up this region that way that no, you know, army can secretly get past me. Yeah, the sieges are all gonna finish pretty quickly, because this is a pretty easy war. Uh, as soon as... Whoa, these guys finished all at the same time. Uh, make sure I don't grab anyone in the same army. You guys go right there. And, yeah. And we're just gonna casually combine them all into our little lovely unit. You guys go back into friendly territory, that way we don't die. As we slowly siege through everything. And then you guys go down here and start helping siege down all this. I think I'm gonna have like two sieges go at the same exact time. And somebody in my- I think one of my people just died. Good. And invest the money. Oh, Rise of the Pretender. You guys think of a Pretender. Ability dropped and the Rise of the Pretender. Oh. Huh. Thank you for doing that right next to my army. And 44 death stat. Okay, and it seems like I have about average stuff so yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this am I yeah oh uh, yeah this is definitely why I need to start doing more stuff but anyways yay my air is going to be awesome but right now I still got a terrible agent and once we're done with this war, and uh, now here comes all the rebels that are going to try to be all cool and nonchalant and think they can all take me on. Which isn't really going to work. We both know it's not going to work. It's more deceptive to think that they're going to be able to do anything against me. I mean, I mean, they can think that they can, but really, I'm just going to crush them. And all man, and all man is a way of speaking. I'm just going to crush them. I mean, they're moving an army to try... I don't know where they're moving an army to, but... They're gonna get crushed. Like, really. It, I'm really not lying here. Excellent year! I really don't need any more manpower, though. My manpower is, like, literally at its max. And I'm not even really doing... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I need to start making more armies for, like, the vast majority of where everyone is. Because, literally, I have so many revolts now popping up. Because all these people are, like, thinking, Hoop -a -doop, there's a new king. 
And I totally think we can go destroy the Empire now that now that's so weak and fragile and you know other things. Yeah, rebellion. But as will be proven with most things, it's not gonna work out very well. And I'm probably going to destroy them. And I just realized I have literally full legitimacy. What in the world ha oh yeah, my my I didn't actually have a son. My son died. It, very, very weirdly too, but that he died. So yeah, that's what happened to my son. Okay, you guys here, yeah, just go hunt down rebels. I'll deal with the whole place placency of everything. Just go right here to the island, go kill everyone. Okay? There we go. Alright. And then down here. Move up slowly. Okay. Actually, you guys move right there. You guys move right there. Um, you guys do that. And then you guys just divide in half. Since I'm already going to have an army right there. And then, yeah, we're just going to try to take as much of this coastline as we can. Because I really want to link up all my soldiers eventually. And since I'm probably going to have to deal with a couple of different wars. Yeah. Alisa. Huh, what, what do they think they're doing? You guys go right there. Like, seriously, that had like 27 men by just standing there. That was kind of stupid on their parts. Berber! Oh no! Do I not accept Berber anymore? I can actually lose that much and still be in good. Ooh. That's not exactly the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. But I won't say it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And yeah, now, now the rebellions are starting to be a little bit more ticked off. But I can't really help that because my legitimacy is so bad. It's so bad. So yeah, it seems like the rebellions are starting to really pop up. I'm hoping that these guys can finish their sieges in a reasonable amount of time. Like, seriously, just a reasonable amount of time. Once they finish up all the sieges, especially right here, I'll start adding what I want from them, which is basically just the coastline. Once that finishes up, then I'm done. Okay? So yeah, you guys go back down here because you guys are not part of that army. You guys go up here. Mm-hmm. Man, this is gonna... Such a ter just a terrible year, like, seriously, Muslims are supposed to be really good with, like, having good heirs, and yet for some reason I have the one year where I don't have good heirs. It stinks. Alright, come on, break down that fa- break it down. Break down that stupid wall. Thank you. Okay. You guys are defeated, you guys are done, I'm not playing this game anymore. Give me what I want. I want this, 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 and this. I don't care how much infamy it's gonna give me. And I could release the nations, but I tried that last time, it kind of Wait, wait. Who could become my vassal hedges? No, don't really care about any of that. This doesn't really appeal to me. There we go. So. There we go. Got them all underneath my control. Let's just start, like, coin them right now. And yes. So next time we go to war against Kilwa, we basically... We basically will get the rest of the land. And I'm going to start having all my people start on rebel control duty. Hmm. You know, it would be most likely helpful. I think I'm probably, I'm probably going to keep the 42 death stack right there. Keep the 19 death stack right there. Uh, I guess you can be the, the guardian of like this region over here. Like just all this region. Um... And I guess I could probably combine these two units to, to go right here and just guard this region over here. Then, like, the 42 Death Stack will guard all the Ottoman's lands. Because I'm calling that the Ottoman District. The Otto District. Over here, I also have a random bits of soldiers, which I'm just going to carefully integrate into my army. We also have no one protecting the middle grounds of my empire, but... Since no one ever goes here, like, for anything... I don't think that's a bad thing, and... I should honestly at some point culture convert a lot of these countries because I'm probably losing a lot of tax for like non-accepted cultures. But um let's see. Well let's see. How many non-accepted cultures? Because I I feel like we would do a lot of this. Like seriously, a lot of our country is just not accepted cultures. Exactly what I was thinking. A lot of our country Wow, a lot of Greece is just that. But I think Greece is Orthodox, so I can't... No, they're Sunni, so I could. But they cost me a lot. So, maybe not them, but... 
I guess I could fall, probably finish up a more stronger mag mag jib, mag by over here because like I don't know they're just more stronger. So yeah, maybe we, we could do some small culture conversions here and there, but not really big ones because I don't want to spend too much money on this. Plus, I do want to I do want to kind of finish up with all of my uh, naval ideas because I'm that close to getting like press getting that close to like getting ships can now can now just heal in their zones, which means my ships can just be at sea and then be having people be like, hey, they're gonna heal, right? You guys go, yeah, you guys are supposed to be hunting down all the rebels over here. Sheesh. Guys, get, get into gear. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have to create, let me make sure you guys are hunting. You guys are hunting. You guys are hunting. Yeah, I wish, I kind of wish I could have assigned a specific zone of like rebel hunting. Like these guys only go this far into protecting that zone. These guys only go this far into protecting that zone. I think that would be a really cool implemented system that we could use in like our Victoria two days. And for heaven's sakes, we have so much stuff going on and we have so much land we're gonna have to deal with. By the way, let's boost up stability. Uh, right now I'm making really bad money. Probably because of... Eh. Probably because of advisors, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So, let's see. Which one would I not need? I actually do need this one the most. Do I have, like, three advisors again? No. I probably do need this one the most, just to make sure, I, because I have a weak air. But, like, I don't think I need that many diplomats, so... Plus, diplomatic reputation, I think, is way better, so... Yeah, we can go down for diplomatic reputation, and... Yeah, and also initiate the Jizza. That should give me back the positive money right there. Okay. Yeah. Economics, people. Economics. Okay, and I think it's been 10 years now, so let's start integrating our Syrian friends. Seems like we do need to influence them to be liking us again. So, let me just do relations, influence nation, make them like us again, and then we'll just casually do some stuff to them. Plus, I'm also going to start colonizing that little piece of land for no apparent reason than other than I can. It's not even a good piece of land either, but it's just... It's just because like wow we just keep making we just keep making them mad we're just kind of like yep <laughs> uh yep yep for dip so I have like a 27 yeah you guys combine to make a good unit over there probably it's actually a little bit too uh artillery friendly so I'm gonna make two units right there to help balance that unit out uh you guys Oh, I get it. I get where everyone's coming from. By the way, you guys hunt rebels too. And yeah, make sure everyone's hunting down rebels. Seriously. Make sure everyone's hunting down rebels and killing all of them. So I'm gonna have a couple for like the first couple years back to, into this game. Seriously, there's gonna be a lot of rebels in my country. So, it'd be very good idea that you guys all hunt rebels. And so, and then next time, kill war. Seriously, you guys are gonna get your butts kicked down finally. Yep. So let's see. Tigre, yeah, it's a good thing I kept like six different armies protecting different places. Yeah, okay, you guys go back down once you guys are done. Make sure you guys are all protecting over here, get all over there. It's definitely, it's definitely also a good idea that I finally start converting all this because I really, I literally have lots of Orthodox, and I literally have lots of Sunni in my land. I even have some animalists in my country, which annoys me, but it's just the way this kind of all. Will no, don't you dare go all the- No, no, you stay right there. You do not go all the way around. Okay? Sheesh. These idiots. Like, seriously, they don't know how to, like, rule an empire. You don't go all the way around because of that. I mean, once we get all this land connected, then yeah, I don't mind you guys going all the way around. But for the present day, that is just stupid. And apparently more and more rebels. Finally, one finally got in the center. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure these guys can go deal with it though. And I have another army over here that can go deal with that. You guys are stupid. Wow. Wow, you guys are stupid. Okay, you guys go back here. You guys, go crush these rebels. You guys, go crush these rebels. Sheesh. It's not that hard. 
It's not that hard. Ugh. And you guys are also going back. Slow an integration process! Hooray! More land! And free cores! That's also the good thing about this is that it's free cores. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We expanded by a lot. We're starting to really clean up all this region. It seems like there's a couple different Ethiopian peasant revolt stuff going on. Not really my concern. I'm just glad that our empire is looking really strong and really, really powerful. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.